Hey y'all, what's up? This is Adam here another YouTube video today. Today's video is going to be about a dad who kills his two-year-old daughter with a hammer. Now, his charge is capital murder. Uh, the foster mother found the body. Now, when officers arrived, they said they found the man completely covered in blood and the girl was found in the closet. Now, the uh, mother was killed in a car wreck. That's why she's not involved in this. Um, the father was also in the car wreck, seriously injured, but he recovered from his injuries. Now, he was held on a $2 million bond, and he claims that the government made him do it. Now, a couple things uh, we'll talk about. First off is this bond here of $2 million. How do murderers keep getting bond? Murderers keep getting bond, okay? And this was his own daughter, two years old. She didn't have a chance to live her life, okay? He killed her at two years old, and he didn't just shoot her. He made her suffer the whole time, literally suffer. He beat her to death with a hammer. And, yeah, he still has a chance to get out of prison. And like I said before, people say, well, he ain't going to get that kind of money. To I, You know, we don't know that. I've given plenty of examples where people have gotten out of bond, out of jail on bond or bail, and it's been a million dollars to five million dollars, and they've gotten out. We don't know who these people know. We don't know what they do for a living, what they've done in living in the past, um, or who they know. You know, it's just ridiculous. And like I said, he didn't even just shoot her; he made her suffer by beating to death with a hammer. I mean, who does that? I mean, who who does that, honestly? And people can claim he has mental issues or he has whatever, okay? If they knew he had mental issues, why were they not checking in on him and the child? And even if he does have mental issues, okay, that doesn't constitute the right that for you to beat your two-year-old daughter to death with a hammer. That's just... Uncalled for, uh, ridiculous. I really don't know how else to explain that. I really, really don't. You know, I really don't know how to explain that. That's just ridiculous. Um, you know, if he gets this bail, that, you know, I, I really don't know what else to say about this. Stuff like this should not have bails. You know, it happens way too often. Murderers get bail. Uh, child predators get bail. Um, you know, people who uh, get attempted murder, they get bail. You know, what what are we doing? All these people need to be no bail. And then when they get their court date and they are still found guilty, we need to have a hard sentence. If you say 25 years to life, don't let them serve 10, 15, 20 years. Do that 25 to life, you know. And then another thing, you know, they always want to talk about, well, if they plead guilty, you get a lesser charge. So you're telling me if you murder 10 people and you plead guilty, you might get a bail? I mean, what what sense does that make? You know, it's like all these mass shootings. They want to claim, uh, well, I have mental issues. Did I? Well, okay, we know you also have some kind of issues because you just went in there and shot up 10 people. But... That doesn't constitute your right, you know, just because you say you have mental issues, that doesn't constitute a right to go in there and kill 10 people. You know, makes no sense. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, why, and thank y'all for watching.